Yo, I help her. How the heck are you guys doing? This is your girl, Oh, got to Phoenix back again with another old Be Me Nightbringer video. If you like more videos like these, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on the notification bells if you haven't done that so. Without further ado, let lesson four begin. It's hard being new. So yeah, apparently that's what happened. Let me get this straight. Mammon and Macy were out and Levi happened to spot them in the act, leading to, to an all-out brawl? Yep, things were going all steamy. Steamy. We don't know for certain that they were making out. What exactly happened? An exaggeration? So there's some truth to it then. Like maybe it wasn't quite steamy, but it was still a little hot. Oh my! Anyway, I'm surprised we were able to get a table here. Whatever, I've called to make reservations. They've always been full. Feel that was just their way of telling us we weren't welcome. What do you mean? He means that the restaurant wasn't full. They just didn't want to serve any angel traders. We're only allowed in now because we've been named the seven rulers of the underworld. <laughs> Long story short, we have Lucifer to thank for that, since he's the one who swooped in and tamed Cerberus. In that case, we have Mammon to thank as well. True, yeah, he's the one who first suggested the finding and taming Cerberus. Maybe here in the Devil Dome will be a little easier from here on out. I'll take a longer than that for things to change around here. Good point. I mean, even now we're getting a lot of stairs. I didn't expect for this place to be so fancy. Oh, do ya? Yeah, I kind of feel uncomfortable. Oh, baby. Hmm, maybe we are a little out of place here. Don't let it bother you. As we continue to change, it'll change the way people look at us as well. I guess so, yeah. Home sweet home. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. Yeah, Macy, uh, you're staying here tonight. It's too late for you to be heading home. Ooh. You don't say. Something wrong, Wolfie? No. Well then, I'm heading to my room. And I'm off to my nice hot bath. Toodles! No, I can't help but notice something today. Yes? It seems Lucifer really is taking a liking to you, hasn't he? What gave you that idea? I mean, it's not anyone, uh, like, one thing in particular, just feeling that I get from watching him. Anyway, I'm tired. Time for... time to head to my room and get some sleep. That's nice of him. Oh, I think that's Solomon. What are you doing here? I'm noticing that I'm getting C's now instead of, you know, S's. Oh well. Really? That Eric kid wannabe told you to stay here tonight? How unusual. Hmm. What do you think you're gonna do tonight? Uh. What else does it uh, look like I'm doing? Carrying a load of books. We're finally allowed to use the library now. Technically, we already have access to the library thanks to Diablo. He said we could use it whenever we want. However, uh. if I actually tried to check out a book, they wouldn't let me. Until now. 
Is yet another poker being named one of the seven rulers of the underworld? You should be happy. It irritates me that your opinions are so fickle. And now I'm suddenly good enough for them, but still. What matters is I have access to all their books now, and there are a lot of them. They have a really impressive collection of books on curses. There are tons of them. Not surprising, considering it's their it's the Devil Dome's oldest library. I'm going to read every last one of them, mastering new, more powerful spells, which I'll use to bring down that smug Erekin B. He's begging me for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice laugh. Oh, and if you're sitting here tonight, you should go ahead and take a bath now while I still have the chance. Uh. Everyone's going to hit the tub later, so hop to it. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? How could I be so careless? I knew you were embarrassing if I... I knew it would be very embarrassing if I ran into you. I told myself I wouldn't let that happen. Hmm. Huh? Wait, I didn't see what's going on. You just tried to mess with this socially awkward otaku. You want me to get all excited so you can make a fun, you can make fun out of me, don't you? That's none of your business. Don't have your mouth say uh, he's doing very well. Anyway, I'm getting into the bath now. I mean, you're doing uh, in there, aren't you? Then go on, scram, go back to your room, and stay in there. Rude. Oh, I can see cobwebs in the background. Death mask bat brains are a prime example of ingredients used to sort of curses that cause one commit major errors at key moments. Death mask bat? Hmm, is that a specific species to the Devil Dome? Oh. Satan, what are you mumbling to yourself about? Uh? I'm trying to focus here. Go away. Alright, alright, whatever. Yeah. Yo, Macy, decide to sit around and chill after your bath, huh? You're staying here tonight, right? If you're not doing anything else, you can come into my room. I need someone to play pool against. For real? Ooh, his first curse. Oh. All right, let's go. Oh, uh. Huh? Hmm? You. Oh, Leva, it's just you. Just finished your bath. I know. Listen. Like, uh, you know, while I was in the bath, I did some thinking. Lots of thinking. <sighs> and it hits me. Maybe you really do want to come into my room. Maybe you're generally curious of how my snake's doing. Mm. So, um, what I'm trying to say is, if you want to come into my room, I suppose, uh, I suppose that's okay with me. <laughs> what are you even talking about? That look on your face is so tense, it's like you're about to have a heart attack or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how I always look. Anyways, um, if you want to come into my room, then... <coughs> Hate to break it to you, Levi, but... Macy and I were just heading into my room to play some pool. Looks like you were a little too late, huh, Levi-chan? Huh? What? Why are you talking to like me like that? You're making fun of me, aren't you? But no, I was trying to make fun of your little guy. Quit calling me Levi-chan! You, you moron! Hey, that's no way to talk to your older brother. My older brother? A total moron like you? I never thought of you as my older brother. Not even for a single second. Huh? Say what? Okay, uh, that's enough. Shut up, you stay out of this attendant. You were never been on my level, Levi. Not even the Celestial Realm, nor the Devil Dome. And you'll never be. I'm always be the boss of you. <laughs> Levi, you son of a, you just full on punched me. Oi. Say what you want. I'm still strong enough to knock you to the floor. Huh? 
Say what? You think you're gonna take me in a fight in those granny punches of yours? Alright, bring it on! I'm gonna teach you a lesson you'll never forget. You're about to find out just how strong I am. Shut up! You're nothing but an idiot per periable per You're nothing but an idiot peepering with the emotional maturity of a five-year-old. Let go of my shirt! Or I'd rather be some otaku shot and not quit twisting my arm behind my back! Unbelievable. How am I supposed to focus with all of you making all of that racket? Always I'll talk with this, I'll talk with that, with you. You think you're hurting my feelings calling me that? This is perfect timing. I was hoping for the chance to try out this new curse I've been learning. Yeah, I do. Oh, I'm the hurting your feelings. I mean, you're crying right now. I am not! Fingers of discord, a curse be upon you. I am called Satan. Hear me. Sir. You son of a quit yanking on my hair. You're gonna pull it out. Don't Only if you quit. Ow! Grabbing my ear. Let go. Transform. May you be weak, small, and timid. <laughs> Did Levi turn into a puppy? <gasps> Mamma too. <laughs> Great, it worked. How about that? You guys are actually kind of cute now. Yep, yep, yep. Uh. You two losers make pretty good chihuahuas! You know that? I think you should stay like that for a while. Yep. Uh. You look cuter, but you're still way too loud. Instead of turning into chihuahuas, maybe I should have gone some sort of plant. What's going on in here? Honestly, I could hear you halfway across the house. Yep, yep. Mm. Macy, I see you could uh, spend the night here. Nor not to start a fight between my brothers. Yep. I could see that without you telling me, and I don't want to hear it. I can stand all this noise. <laughs> Macy, take them for a walk or something. Just get them out of here. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Oh boy, another one. Yeah. Macy, I didn't expect you to run into you here. Weren't you supposed to stay at the House of Lamentation tonight? Hmm? Yep, yep. Oh. oh, what cute little dog. Where'd you find them? They are the brothers. <laughs> I see, so that's what happened. I have to say I'm impressed to think that Satan transformed Mammon and Leviathan into Chihuahuas. It takes a real skill to perform a curse like that. <laughs> Look at them playing. It's hard to believe they were just a little while ago and they were at each other's throats. Hmm. I think they might be still fighting. Hmm? Really? Looks like they're sort of having a good time to me. Ah, I almost forgot to mention. I read the newspaper article. Hmm. In our time, Lucifer and his brothers are highly respected in De Devil Dome. There's no questioning their status at the top of pecking order. But things are different here in the past. They've only just been casted out of the celestial realm. They really had it rough when they first got here, huh? I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd say that. Knowing that you're there for them, and you want to help, I imagine that means a lot of them right now. By the way, how's everything on your end? Are things going well between you and them? I see, so you decided to work on him first, huh? Well, that makes sense. He may not see like it on the surface, but Mammon gets lonely easily. He's friendly, and he loves company. I imagine it's challenging getting Lucifer and his brothers to come around to you, but... 
knowing that I'm going to do everything I can as well so we can get back into the present. Ah. Because that's where you were from and where you belong. Don't forget that, Macy. So, you're back from your walk. I was hoping uh, that taking from a walk would quiet them down some, but I see that they're as loud as ever. You know what? Why not? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's seeming that it just isn't to be. Take a look behind you. Sir. They're back! Uh, I can't hear my whole body creaking. Even as a dog, you just had to keep picking fights with me, huh, Levi? Man, I'm worn out. Hmm, <laughs> you took that words right out of my mouth. Ugh, mammon's like a rat that just won't go away. Huh? What did you say? Mother. It seems you two haven't learned your lesson. Should I turn you into snails next? Then don't cause any more trouble. Is that clear? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yo, Levi, like, what's, what's his problem? He could at least say something. Uh. He's gone. Man, he really rubbed me the wrong way. Hmm. Just drop it, mammon. Anyways, Macy, we have somewhere to go tomorrow, so be ready. Mammon, you could come as well. Something special going on? Oh. Diablo wants to talk with us. And I can hear Sadie in the background. Apparently it's about something important. Um... Yeah. Thanks for all of you coming so early this morning. I've asked you to come here because... Wait, before you continue, can I, have a, can I ask a question? Of course. What's on your mind, Solomon? Ah. I think I know why you called us here to talk about, but... Yeah, well, I can understand why uh, you want Barbados, who's for Annisburg is here. But it is really okay for me and Macy to be present for this. I'm a human, and as for Macy, um... Uh, you know, it's not like Macy is a particularly high-ranking demon by Devil Dome standards. Ah. Wait, you're worried you don't belong here? <laughs> because you do. I very much want you to hear of what, I, what it is I have to say. If I didn't, I wouldn't have asked you to be here today. Also, I already approached Macy about helping with us with this. We're on the same page. Okay. I will. As long as you're sure, it's fine with me. Yo, what's, uh, what are you guys talking about? I guess I got no idea what's going on here. Poor baby. Oy. Now listen, you two. <laughs> Sorry, in that case, I'll get straight to the point. I called you here to, uh, officially unveil my plans for the founding of RAD. RAD? This is about the school you wanted to start in the Devil Dome, isn't it? So you actually serious about that? Ah. Naturally. Eh? The Royal Academy of Diablo, or RAD for short. The Devil Dome's first Royal Academy. An academy, so this is going to be a place of learning? <laughs> of course, Satan! Since age of times, the Devil Dome has been planning where people do what they are pleased to do and say what they want. This is a place of freedom, but also chaos, like two sides of the same coin. Like every demon king throughout history, I love that chaos. That's one thing that hasn't changed. However, if the Devil Dome is continuing to grow into a future, I feel like we acquire something more. Something more? What exactly? Fellowship. Fellowship. Empathy, unity, solidarity, there are so many words to describe it, but what I'm really talking about is feeling of trust and faith in each other. That doesn't sound very demon-like. That's exactly why we need a place where demons can learn things of sorts of things, Belphabor. 
Those who will learn this world into the future need to forge strong, long-lasting relationships with each other. The Academy will be where they can do just that. And all of you here are going to be the core members of the team that founds it. Are you sure you want us for a job like that? It doesn't sound like a lot of fun, and I'm honored you ask, but yes, Eel does have a point. Are you worried about taking on such a responsibility? I'm thinking there's a lot of folk out there who won't be too happy if we're a part of this. <laughs> Having all of you as a part of the project embodies the ideal of the economy itself, Mammon. Also, there's one other reason I'd like you to be here on the team. I like- I think you saw the article in the newspaper after, after what happened to Cerberus. The seven of you are attracting more attention than ever. There are those who are openly celebrate the fact that we have seven new rulers of the underground. But as Mammon said, there are also those who aren't happy that the group of former angels have gained such power and influence here in the Devil Dome. And it seems that even some demons are among the bone who hold extreme views. Oh my god, it's just like sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Which is why I need to clear in no uncertain terms that you will command a position of respect here. Are you saying you're going to announce this to the entire Double Dome? Ah. Bingo! I plan to make it a grand event. I'll even invite res res representatives from the Celestial Realm to attend. Okay, I think I understand what Lord Diablo's plan now, but Lucifer, what do you say to this? Very well. We have no objections to your proposal, and we'll appreciate that you would consider us for... Huh? No objections? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we do have objections. HUGE OBJECTIONS! Eh? Uh... Levi? Uh. I hate this entire idea! I mean, we're going to attract even more attention than we already do! I don't want that! I don't want any of that at all! Mother. Don't be unreasonable, Levi. I'm not okay with this! Yeah. If we're going to build a life of ourselves in the Devil Dome, we need Diablo to make this announcement. You don't get it. You don't get to decide everything for us, Lucifer. I never wanted to. I never wanted to come into this awful place to begin with! Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes another quote from the website. <laughs> and off he goes. Oh. He walked off. Now what? Finally, it's about time. Are we gonna do this again? Oh, I know this music anywhere. He's gotta be pretending. Come on, Levi. Earth to Levi, do you read me? Maybe I should tickle him. Hey, don't you dare! I actually like your room. I do like my bed, even if it's a bathtub. Wait, what? Did the others say anything after I left? Did you now? I never wanted to come to this awful place. It's not like I wanted to say something like that right there in front of everyone. But it's been so hard ever since we got here. I'm depressed and upset and sick of all of it. 
A cheery, extroverted like Mammon had it so easy. You're a demon, yet you immediately broke the out of the ice with you. And now you two are so close. And Lucifer tamed Cerberus just by shooting him in, in a sideways glance. As believe it gave the ability to try people after com coming here. Whatever they might say, everyone has started to adjust their life to the Devil Dome. When I watch them, it makes me jealous and spiteful. Just totally miserable. Oh, well, yeah. That's the, the Avatar of Envy right here. <sighs> to be honest, I held out a bit of hope at first. I thought maybe those they, things would change some after getting into the Devil Dome. Even before the war in the Celestial Realm started, things were right between the, things were weren't right between us, and they haven't been in a really in a long time. It was that way with Lucifer, Mammon, and everyone. Lucifer was constantly angry. I was depressed. It has been a, it's been like that for so long. I wasn't. I wanted to escape that place, either that or travel back into the past and stop it all from happening to begin with. If only he hadn't taken such an interest in humans, things might have still be... When it comes down to it, I've only been thinking of myself, like how I thought I could escape the celestial realm and might not feel so just depressed anymore. And that the devil dome might actually be a better fit for me. That maybe, uh, that maybe I'd be way better looking as a demon. But that's not how it turned out. I'm still the same old me. The only one left behind were the rest of my brothers to move on onto a brighter future. Suddenly, I can't help think that it wasn't supposed to be like this. And that's when I shouted what I did. I'm the one who got my hopes up, who set myself up for disappointment, who got all jealous. Seriously, what am I even doing here? Poor baby. Well, this is a first. Unfortunately, this is probably where I'll have to end the video since I won't be able to continue the story. But I still hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said before, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to hopefully get more. Until then, we'll meet again. Bye!